morning guys welcome to another video from flores resales my name is nico today is monday right after the weekend and i got some shipping to do today i put on my instagram stories i got 37 sales going out uh but first off if you guys are new to the channel i'm a full-time reseller i buy and sell things uh, to sell online on ebay mostly uh but also mercari facebook marketplace places like that uh, and i make a full-time living uh doing it so this uh, like i said this weekend i had 37 orders it was a gross of about 1500 dollars um i'll put up the exact numbers uh, at the end of the video but i just want to go kind of quick because i want to go show you guys every single item that sold uh this weekend and then i just want to go through it real fast so i have my scan sheet right here that i used to pull my orders and i wrote already what i what i paid for each item so the first item is going to be a pamper chef grill this one here i paid 70 dollars for it and i bought about 14 of them uh, at a time so that one i got 160 bucks for plus shipping so that one will go ups i'm thinking about using this box right here i think it should be able to fit there so that one's going to go for uh, well, so for 160, so I make about 50 bucks on each brand new item. So 50 times 14 ends up being about $700. Next is Black Ops, Black Ops game right here. So these are sold as disc only, uh, but I bought a bunch of these uh, clear cases from Walmart right here. I got a case of 50. I believe I spent like 13 bucks on them, uh, on these cases. So I paid, uh, I put a dollar. It was a lot cheaper than a dollar that what I paid for this item, but I mean, a dollar will be the least that I write down here. Uh, anyways, that one sold for only $5 plus shipping, but that's okay. Next item we have is a Race Titanic DVD Blu-ray right here. I paid two bucks for this one. This one sold for uh, $15 plus shipping. It's probably easier to point it down this way. So next I sold a Dead Cosplay Pool for $75. So that's this here. It's the whole little costume. I think it has everything except like the boots or shoes. Um, and that one sold for $75 plus shipping. I only paid $15 for it, but it took a while to sell. I think it's been listed for over a year, so I'm glad it finally got moving. Uh, the other one, I had two of them. The other one I actually sold last week, so I don't know what's coming up. Maybe conventions opening up or something like that, that people are trying to uh, finally go and check out again. Let's see what we got. Okay. Sold this IHOP Sound. I paid a dollar, about, about 100 of them. And I, I'm selling it for $2 plus shipping. So I'm not making any money on these, really. It's more just to kind of make my store sell stuff and I can move things out of there. But, I mean, they still sell here and there. I've sold about 20 to 30 of them. So they still do okay. And we have Funko Pop. But I got a bunch of Funko Pops right here. So this one I, I got for $4. So it's kind of in rough shape. It's a Target exclusive. I sold it as used um, because of the box. Because I know Funko collectors are pretty particular. And that one sold for $14.50. So not crazy money with Funko Pops. It never really is. But, I mean, $14.50 for that item. It's still okay. Good sale to get out of here. Sorry, $14.25. So this little Disney Lightning McQueen backpack. I paid $3 for it. Sold for $15 plus shipping. That was a quick little sale. Just going to be throwing in a poly bag and it'll be on its way. Sold this Sega Genesis remote. I paid a buck for that one. I believe it sold for $10. Yeah, $10 plus shipping. So, I mean, easy little remote, uh, be on its way. And then I sold this here. I paid $5 for it. This is a pretty decent sale. It sold for $30 plus shipping. Uh, protocol, protocol 92704. I think it's just a light, yeah, light for your mechanic stuff. So that one sold for $30 plus shipping. That was a pretty good sale. Uh, this remote sold here. I bought about 25, 30 of them for $10. So this is maybe 50 cents into it, but let me say a dollar and it sold for $10 plus shipping. So again, nothing too fancy, but it was a quick uh, flip. If you guys don't know how to test these, you just put in batteries and you can aim the light at the your camera lens on your phone. And then you'll see it turn kind of like violet purple and that shows that the infrared is working. So that's what I did with this one. Drop that. So tested working, sold for $10 on its way. Uh, da -da -da -da. A magic hair trimmer here. One of those like Amazon return stuff. I think I paid $5 for this one. Yeah, five bucks and it sold for $20 plus shipping. So I'll make it to about $10 on that one. Uh, some Bluetooth headsets. Dang, I was trying to show you guys everything. It's around here. There's this little, oh, I think it's in here still. Yeah. So this little Bluetooth Boltune headset. I paid a dollar for it. So I got a bunch of cases like this, but this actually ended up having the earbuds in it. So that one sold for 20 Yeah, $20 plus shipping. Uh, and that one's gonna be it's on its way four ounce first class rate. It'll be it'll be a quick ship uh, Then I sold this Govi thing Govi is like a brand like China, Chinese brand So it's just this little charger. It was for a personal item for some LED lights I had set up the lights ended up uh, falling falling off because I didn't put them up right But so I sold the power adapter because I figured someone else might need it and it did so it sold for $15 plus shipping I believe initially I had paid maybe $15 for the pack. So I pretty much got my money back uh, It's over $10 and I saw these Adorbi little camera 
so I kind of paid up for these. I paid eighteen dollars. The guy had a whole bunch of them, but they were new. And um, I'm like, all right, I'll make a little bit less money. When you buy wholesale or things like that, you pay a little more, but it's usually sure money because there's no problems with the stuff. Uh, anyways, that one sold for forty five dollars plus shipping, so eighteen into forty five after fees and everything. Uh, maybe I still make like twenty dollars, twenty five. So it's not bad, right? Uh, let's see, see, see. iRobot charger. So that's that looks like that. One, this one. So this one here, regular charger. I believe I paid five bucks for that one. Robot. Where is it? Boom, boom. Yeah, five dollars. So for thirty dollars plus shipping, that's a quick little sale. Then I sold this little speaker. I paid eight dollars for it. It's for your mo motorcycle, and that one sold for seventy dollars plus shipping. So this is a fantastic sale. Eight bucks. Uh, usually there's two of them, but I did list it was only one, uh, and it, it has the one that has the aux cable here, and that one sold for seventy dollars. Then we have these two cobalt drills. I paid sixty dollars. Uh, well, I bought a whole little set, two drills, two. The chargers look similar to this one. Uh, two chargers and two of the 4.0 batteries, and I paid 150 for everything. Uh, and then these, I sold one of them with a 5% off offer, I want to say. I think I had them listed for 110. Yes, I had them for 110, so it was a 10% offer that I sent out, and one sold for 99, and then the other one sold for the full 110. So I got $200, so I'll make my money back on the, on these already after fees and everything. I'll have the original investment back, and then I'll have the two chargers, which sell for about 35 at 70 bucks and then the two batteries will sell for about 40 80 so i'm gonna make about 150 pretty much double up my money based on whatever's left so yeah like i said 99 and 110 then i sold these little remington replacement for your uh razor i bought a bunch of these for a dollar i think it was 24 that time i ended up going next week and he had more but he had raised the price of two dollars and i still bought them for two dollars um because this is the cheapest one the ten dollar one a lot uh, uh it's over 14 actually so there was a, some that sell for $10. There's a few models in there. But there's some that I have listed for 30 bucks, and I've sold one already. So, I mean, it was a good pickup all around. Then I sold this little diesel charger there. So my dog's over here protecting my property. But uh, anyways, diesel 4.2 little walkie thing for like those ham radios type of, type of things. And that was sold for $10 plus shipping. Yeah, and I'm into it for a buck. Keep going. Hopefully... You guys are with me here. Da, da, da. So there's the oh, the cobalt charger. This one does work for the same batteries, but the ones that I have that came with this kit, uh, they're bigger. You can charge two batteries at the same time uh, or charge multi-voltage batteries, different kinds of batteries for the cobalt systems, 24-volt system. Anyways, that one sold. I paid seven and it sold for $35 plus shipping. Then this GoPro rechargeable battery. One of those people that sells storage units. Sold for, I bought it for two. It sold for $15. Yeah, $15, and the guy has been messaging me uh, that he wants me to send it ASAP. <laughs> so I'll have it sent out today. Then I got this at uh, EcoThrift, Little Thrift Store, uh, Battery Lynx Huber Cordless Battery. I paid 6 bucks for it, and it sold for 40 No, $25. $25. So not fantastic, but I mean, sometimes I... Uh, I mean, I need a little... I, my average pro profit is $15 per item. So if I'm making $15, i will be okay. Then real fast, real fast. Okay, I bought this kitty here alarm thing i want to say i paid three bucks for it yeah three dollars and uh, this was over fifteen dollars but shipping it's been listed for a long time it wasn't selling so i ended up ending the listing and relisting it and then it actually moved so i was glad to get this one out the way i just noticed there's a whole bunch of fuzz on my shirt yeah i mean i was feeding my dogs and taking care of stuff so hey anyways so that one sold uh, for fifteen dollars for shipping next item was oh i just picked this up if you guys saw my last video with a reseller frenzy uh, this item was one of the items I picked up there, and I had said that I was going to list it for uh, 90 bucks uh, because I had sold them previously for 70 I ended up listing it for 100 and I made sure all my item specifics were in there, and it sold for $100 plus shipping. And next we have da -da -da, Omnitrix for Ben 10. I saw, I want to say, Cincinnati Picker uh, bought one of these brand new, like one of the original ones, and he sold it for like 200 or 300 or something like that. I'm like, oh, maybe this one will be valuable. Not not $300 valuable, but it sold for $15. I think I paid $2 for it. The Omnitrix, yeah, $2. It sold for $15 plus shipping. Then I sold another one of these Apple keyboards, if you guys can see right there. This one I got to clean up. I have like four of them. This one has not been processed yet. That's why it's not clean. Uh, but it was inside while the other stuff was uh, at the storage. Anyways, I bid $5. That one sold for $35 plus shipping, so that's a really good sale for that one. A uh, bunch of these cool pants. Let's see if I get them here. 
Levi's 5'11", 34 by 29 This is like a salmon color. I was not going to buy these initially because it's a weird color, but it has a cool pattern. And I already sold a few pairs of these, so I was surprised that they were actually moving. This sold for $30 plus shipping. I roll it up tightly and I throw it in a padded flat rate. And it goes on its way. I haven't had an issue with any of them. Brand new uh, Levi's 5'11". So I think I have maybe like five or so left. I want to say about like a dozen of them. And um, they've been moving. They've been moving. This other item, I paid $3. It's been fully tested. Little Sony Walkman radio. I think it's sold for $15 plus shipping. Yeah, $15 plus shipping. Another one of the games that I put in the case. Not sure where I moved them. But those ones that I paid a dollar for. And that one sold for $5 plus shipping. I bought a bunch of switches, car switches for cars from, well, obviously. Uh, some uh, auto shop that was closing. Uh, the guy was retiring. Anyways, I bought 150 something of these for a dollar piece. So, I mean, this is all super profitable stuff already. I've already sold a few of them. And that one sold for $15 plus shipping. There's some that have a, for 40 that have sold for 40 Like the Honda ones always did a little better, do a little better. So that was a good sale. That's a good sale for me. And then I did another, I'll do two more and then I'll finish off with these ones. Uh, Orbit 6 station. Right here. Irrigation timer. That one got for... Well, this is what I paid. I paid $150 for about 70. I didn't know it was 70 at the time. It was just like kind of a wholesale deal. Uh, but when I ended up going through them, it was 70 chargers, 70 uh, timers. So it's about $3 a piece, less than $3, but I rounded up to $3 a piece um, uh, for this one. So this one sold for $20 per shipping, not too expensive, but uh, a lot of the ones I've been selling, have been selling for like 45, 50 bucks. So it's it's been a good flip for me. I've already made my money back and I'll probably profit maybe anywhere from five to $800 on this deal. So awesome for me. And from the same deal, this one's just a random item in there. A Hunter irrigation controller uh, power supply. This one sold for $15 plus shipping. So also from the same deal, uh, also I'll say I'm into it for about $3 a piece. I'll still make about, I've made $10 on it. And then lastly, all right, I sold these two Funko Pops, uh, Halo 15, Spartan Mark 7, and then this Tyrell from Diablo. I believe they sold they're just, they sold cheap, pop, sell cheap. I don't really like selling them. Yeah, sold for five dollars and sold for eight dollars. So, and I paid three dollars fifty cents each. And I don't normally pay that much, but I did a wholesale deal on Pop Someone that was selling them. I got a hundred of them for three hundred and fifty bucks, uh, and I've been lotting up the like ones. So. I'll try to add here a little screenshot. I sold 17 that were venomized uh, pops for $150 on Facebook Marketplace. So I had those shipped out already. And I sold eight Pokemon ones for 60. So that's $210 on 25 of them. That leaves me 75 to make the difference of $100. So pretty much 75 for 100 bucks. Uh, this is all the ones I have left. So all of these, uh, they're already listed. This took me maybe like an hour and a half. Um, it's pretty pretty straightforward. These ones are not listed and then I also have these little halo domes that need to be set up uh, But I mean this is gonna be another 15 minutes to finish listing these For that pop deal But I mean that's all my items I'm not gonna do a recap at the end of my exact profits But if you guys want to follow along, I guess you guys can add it up and see a gross about 1500 I told you guys the price for each item. So I usually run about 35% to 45% uh, net profit after everything. So do the math. <laughs> Believe it or not, that was all done in one breath. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, I want to keep doing stuff like this, honestly, because it's less editing for me. I can just do it all in one take and throw it on there. Uh, unfortunately, it means I got to be quick on my feet thinking so I can get the words out so I don't stumble as much or stutter or all those issues that we have when we're public speaking. But I'll go ahead and upload this today. So you're seeing this the same day, probably before I'm even done packaging, this is going to be uploaded. Uh, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.